The Nollywood celebrity couple Olu Jacobs and Joke Silva marked their 35th wedding anniversary and people are very happy about that. They've been congratulating them because they are seen as beacon of hope in Nollywood marriages. It has been shared several times that Nollywood marriages don't last and this marriage has really stood the test of time. They've come a long way and people are really interested to know what's keeping them together. She also shared some of the tips. Hi guys, you're watching M Cheeky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this gist. Also remember to hit that red subscribe button. Also turn the notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So hooray to the Nollywood celebrity couple. Olu Jacob and Joke Silva for marking their 35th wedding anniversary. People have been sending in their congratulatory messages. It is not really easy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not easy. These two have really stood the test of time. Even when people have been sharing news about Nollywood marriages not lasting, not standing the test of time, these two have been together. Olu Jacobs met Joke Silva for the first time in 1981 at the National Theatre in Igomu, Lagos. Now, they got married 8 years later in 1989 and since then they've been together. They are blessed with two boys and one girl but unfortunately the girl lost her life when she was 10 and a half years. Their boys are named Olu Soji and Olu Wenga. The most interesting part of this story is that these two have been acting in Nollywood industry as long as I can remember. They've been in Nollywood since inception. I think they're among the foundation members of the Nollywood and nothing has happened to their marriage. There's never been rumors. There have never been any controversies as far as I'm concerned. So, and the marriage is like, uh, they have like 20 years gap because Olu Jacob is 77 this year, if I'm not mistaken, while uh, Joke Silva is 57. So it's like 20 years age gap between two of them. So it's really interesting to see that they are the ones giving hope to the Nollywood, making people to also know that Nollywood marriages can last. That not all Nollywood marriages hit the rocks, but in all this, she also made it clear that there is no single marriage that is not without challenges. There were times that she wanted to end her marriage, not minding what society will say. And according to her, this has happened a lot. Then she went ahead to share one particular incident that happened when she just had her first baby and the husband came back from set. And what happened was that he was talking to her, he was shouting. Then what she said was that, is it me you are talking to? Do you think I don't have a father? Then before you knew it, she packed her clothes from the drawer and dumped it into her car, carried her baby. And she remembered her landlady who lived at the back of their compound, came out and was shouting, Joke, where are you going to? Then she told the lady that she was going to her father's house. When she got home, the first person she saw was her mom. And the mom said, <laughs> What are you doing here? She began ranting. She said that um, she has a house and a room in her father's house. So it's better for her to pack her bags and go home. Then the father sort of understood where she was coming from. But funnily, her husband eventually called and asked her when she was coming back. And that was the first time. And she did it a couple of other times after that she stopped. So it has not been so easy. So for people that think that they don't have problem, that it has been so rosy for them, it's not really what you see. According to her, there is no marriage without challenge and I take it for her word. She said that she made it clear there's no marriage without challenge. So if you think... And she went further to say that there was a time she had argument with her husband and she said to herself that life is not too hard, that the best thing for her would be for her to leave. So she said to the husband, I would like to leave. Then the husband now said, don't you ever say that to me again. Otherwise, the next time you say it, you will leave and you leave. So she eventually stopped saying that. But the husband said that when you have argument with your spouse, it's better for you to walk away. Because when but as soon as you can ask the question, what made him do that? That is when you can now come back and talk through it. But what he's saying is that you check what works for you because what works for him might not work for everybody. So it's better for you to look inward and know what works for you. And Joki went further to say that when you know who you are married to and when you like the person you are in relationship with and do have respect for each other, then everything will fall into place. That for her husband, he was always wanting what was best for her and she also had to learn what was best for him 
and finally they got it that it differs from person to person so when they asked her about the vaults, she said that there is no situation that you cannot tolerate bearing in mind that we all have different threshold of pain be it emotional and otherwise so if you reach your threshold life is not that hard please carry your load and go because if you leave they will talk if you stay they will talk there are some people who needed to leave because they wanted to maintain their sanity if they didn't leave they would go mad there is life after divorce so that was how she explained it so this part she mentioned now about packing your things go when you see that the marriage is not working and most especially people in abusive relationship makes me to remember some nollywood marriages whereby the other partner will want to keep pushing to see if the marriage will stand sometimes if you want to push on your own without the agreement of the other partner or without the other partner contributing to it you're wasting your time because you're spending your energy you're using a lot of time to push it when the other person is not even interested so in such a case i think the best thing for them is to part their ways because like Joke said there is always life after divorce but some people keep thinking what the society will say about them some people even when they are hurting in their marriage when they know that that marriage is not favorable and in a case where there is domestic violence they don't even bother they will keep enduring for how long are you going to endure it for how long do you think you can be there what if the other person becomes so violent and get rid of the other person what do you say what would be your explanation so people should stop thinking about what society will say you focus on your life when you save yourself then you will be able to face the society and also listen to what they're saying because if you're not alive you won't hear what society is saying i hope people will hear and understand this some people put in a lot of work energy time when they're planning for their wedding and give little to their marriage they don't even think how the marriage will work if this marriage will survive in the next couple of years what are they going to do to sustain the marriage and that's the reason why some people before they get into the marriage they don't think about compatibility they don't look at the man critically well to know if they'll be able to live with the man once they hear about engagement marriage wedding that carried away in short that carried away by engagement and wedding they think less about the marriage they don't even bother about the marriage they leave it to the hands they leave it to faith and there are some people that genuinely they were deceived because they were not paying attention to the red flags they will see the red flag they will want to overlook it there are some people that right from the onset of the consummation of that marriage in short right from the relationship level there has been deceit the relationship has been built on shaky foundation it has not been solid but because some people were so head on to get married that's the reason why they don't see it even when they see it they don't really regard it they believe that in the marriage to be corrected whatever the person is doing in marriage they'll correct it you can't correct anything in marriage once a person has formed their character it's an adult an adult does not change his or her character like that it doesn't come easily the way we think so anything you don't change before the marriage forget about it it can never be changed so people that keep deceiving you that when i marry you i will change it's a lie they're not gonna change because i've never seen adult changing so that's it you need to make sure that what you're seeing is what you're going to expect eventually when you get married to the person otherwise you're wasting your time because marriage does not change nobody so guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and congratulations to olu jacobs and joke silver again i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the algorithm and subscribe to this channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed